Hello there. How you guys doing? You know, before every speech I ever make, I always, always acknowledge my Lord Jesus Christ. So if you don't acknowledge him, he's not going to acknowledge you. It's not time for us to get a new guy in that seat in Washington, D.C. Yes. And that seat belongs to the people of Georgia. And it is time that we get somebody new in that seat, and that person is Rosa Walker. My wife Julie, who's here with me, but I want to tell you this little story real quick. It's hot out here, so I'm gonna make this short and sweet. And this is about this story of this uh, man that died and he went to heaven early. And when he got to heaven, St. Peter met him at the pearly gates. And St. Peter said, You're here early right now, and your name ain't on the road. But he said, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to decide where you want to go. He said, you can go to heaven or you can go to hell and I'm going to give you a chance to decide for yourself. And he puts him in this elevator and he takes him all the way down to hell. And the doors open up and there's a party going on. There's a lot of his friends down there and they're having a good time. And so after a couple of hours ago, St. Peter came to him and said, uh, we got to leave now, we got to leave. He said, we got to go. He said, yeah, you got to go right now. So he puts him in his elevator, he takes him all the way up to heaven, and they get to heaven and the doors open up, and there's people floating around on clouds. They're having a good time, and they're just laughing. And after a couple of hours, St. Peter came to him and said, uh, you ready to make the decision? And the guy said, well, St. Pete, I hate to tell you this, but I think I want to go to hell. He said, are you sure? He said, yeah, I want to go to hell. He said, that seems like my type of place. So he puts him in his elevator. They go all the way down to hell now. And when the doors open up now, it's hot. Hotter than today, it's hot. People are looking miserable. They're terrible. They're just crying. And the guy said, wait a minute, wait a minute. A couple of hours ago, when I was here, there was a party going on. And Satan shows up and said, a couple of hours ago, I was campaigning. The reason I'm telling you that right now is the left is campaigning. Yes, they are. They're lying to you. Yes. They're lying to you because you can yes. see what's happening right now. Yes. Our economy is going bad. And is that the fault of the guy that I'm running against? Yes. You know, he's he's voted for this. Yes. And he's you seen that he got he voted to put men in women's sports. Yes. That's sort of like saying you want Herschel Walker to compete against your daughter. That's what he's saying. I don't think men should be in women's sport. Right now, right now, he won't answer the question, can a man get pregnant? I answer that for him, no, they can't get pregnant. Right now, you gotta see what's happening right now. They're bringing wokeness in our military. You know, I, I wanna say the reason we're the greatest country in the world, we got the greatest military in the world. In a way, the way we got to do this is we got to support them. Because I can promise you right now, Iran, Russia, and China are not worried about pronouns. They're not worried about pronouns out there. If your name not worried about how you identify. A bullet not worried about the color of your skin. So we got to remove wokeness from our military. Right now, we got to get our men and women ready for war. So that's what is happening right now. Because let me tell you, the true heroes are those men and women. And then the guy I'm running against, he said he can't serve God and the military at the same time. And I'm like, God, does he not believe in redemption? Does he not believe in forgiveness? Because he also made another statement. He said America needs to apologize for his whiteness. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. Have you not read the Bible? forgiveness moving forward because he's in a church of a man that said it's not the color of your skin but the content of your character yeah. Yeah. and all he talks about is the color of your skin yeah. when well, it is time for us to put leaders in Washington that not going to worry about that they're going to worry about America yeah. that's what we, need to worry about. we need to worry about America we need to worry about the people because right now you seen the crime you seen the crime the guy was running against? Yeah. Called out men and women names. 
I want him to apologize to them. Yes. They're calling the police? Who came up with that right idea? That doesn't work. It hasn't been working. Even our president is trying to separate. Guys, we have our problems, but we solve those problems together. And the way you do it is by putting strong people in Washington that's going to do the right thing. That is easy to do. Do the right thing. People ask me and they thank me for running. I said, don't thank me for running. God has blessed me. And right now my family is in problem. They got problems. And all of you are my family. I don't care what color you are. Because I'm going to tell you right now, my father, my heavenly father had not seen color. He see your heart. So we got to get back to that. We got to get back to being energy independent again. Taking care of ourselves. Not continuing as our enemies to do things for us. And they asked me why I'm running. I'm running because I'm sick and tired of this. When my father told me no, he meant no. Right. And then when I got old enough, he said, if you don't like the rules underneath my roof, it's time for you to leave my house. Yeah. And it's almost at the point that we said, we are good people. And if you don't like the rules on our roof, you can go somewhere else. Yeah. We're not going to hold you. But we got to have people that's going to be strong enough to say it because it seems like everybody now is afraid to speak the truth. Come on. Come on. Yeah. The truth is, America is a good place to live. Why in the world is this border wide open? And then they get upset. They say, no, if the border's not wide open, this border's wide open. Fentanyl is killing a lot of our young people. They don't want to address it. They want to address everything else except the truth. The truth is we got an economy problem. We got a crime problem. In our schools, you've seen it. Our kids are behind because they want to be woke. They want to be woke. What about teaching them how to write? Yeah. What about teaching them how to read? What about yeah. teaching them how to spell? Wow. But right now, we have elected people to watch that want to profit off the bites or the misery they're giving to us. My opponent, I heard he made a little bit more money by being in office. Well, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to represent the people. That's right. But that's what I'm going to do in Washington. I said, I'm going to represent Georgia. Yeah. Because Georgia is my home. Georgia is where I'm from, and Georgia is where I would die. Yes, it is time for us to fight. I'm not saying physical fight. I'm saying go to the polls this come November. Go to the polls and vote. It's time to put the right people in Washington, not just Herschel Walker. There's other people that you got to put there as well because we got to get a lot of people that believe in America and believe in the Constitution. They got to believe in this country. You'll make America great again. People say that's a bad uh, slogan. <laughs> hey, if you live in America, don't you want it to be great? Yeah. <laughs> that's a great slogan. And if you're the president of the United States, you should want America yeah. to be great again. Right. I am tired of us putting America second. That's right. It is time to put America first. Yeah. And I'm going to work for you guys to put Georgia first put America first because we deserve to be first again. And I want to leave you with this. I want to leave you with this because people got to understand this sometimes because I'm from the country. You know, I don't wear those slick suits. I don't have $10,000. Yes, I do. I do have $10,000 suits, but I'm not going to wear them because I don't like them. They don't fit too well. I don't wear this. But I'm going to tell you this little story I heard one time. It's about everybody thinking something is better somewhere else. And I remember talking about this bull that was out in the field, and he had six cows with him. Three of them were expecting calves. He had these six cows, but what he was worried about, he kept his nose up against the fence, seeing these other three cows up on the hillside. So as he's looking up on the hillside of these other three cows, not worried about what he got now, the grass is as tall as his knees. All he had to do is eat grass. But he worried about something else. And so one day, he measured that fence up. He measured that fence up and he said, you know, I think I can jump this fence and get over there with those other cows. Now, not worry about what he got. I can jump it. I'm going to get over there. Yeah. So as he got back one afternoon, he took off running. And he dove 
And as he made it over the fence, his banner got all cut up and stuff. He rolled up and he got up and he knew he was that made it on the other side. He was so excited about it. And then he ran to the top of the hill. When he got up there, he realized that they were bulls too. <laughs> and the reason I tell you that, don't think something is better somewhere else. This is a good place. And the way we make it better is by coming together. So I'm Herschel Walker. I'm going to win that Senate seat. I need your help because I want them to know it is time for Reverend Warnock, Senator Warnock, to go. That seat belongs to the people of Georgia, and it's time for us to take the seat back. God bless you guys. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys.